so guys it's really simple to use dust particle so let's hide the previous one let's add a new collection right click new collection let's select the collection let's hide the previous camera too so guys this is what we have so shift plus a mesh let's add a cube tap to edit mode fill up the area where you want to animate or render so let's do it s to scale numpad one font view select the vertices let's increase it so guys suppose we are done with our shape we placed it properly now tap to object mode select the dust area or the cube and go to material tab then click on this plus icon then new to add a new material let's name it dust particle select the cube again go to sharing tab so these are our default nodes select the principal bsdf press on x to delete it then click on add then search for principal volume then add the principal volume output to the material output volume reduce the density of the volume like 0 0.1 just a small fog now select the cube again then go to particle properties then click on this plus icon to add a new particle then click on here then under source emit from change from faces to volume let's minimize the upper collection shift plus a mesh let's add a icosphere as a sample for our particle system one subdivision let's reduce the radius right click shade smooth let's take it outside now select the cube area again then go to particle properties then scroll down under render setting render as change from path to object let's name our icosphere to sample to identify let's select the cube again particle properties then scroll down under render there is object click on the box and select our icosphere sample let's add a new camera for our scene shift plus a camera let's move it to the proper position activate the camera by clicking on this icon press numpad 0 for camera view then go to view navigation work navigation set up your camera where you want this seems like ok now select the camera go to camera setting then check depth of field then change the f stop from 2.8 to lower the higher the number the picture will be more sharper the lower the number more blur you can change the focal distance here now select the cube again go to particle properties let's reduce the size of the particle increase the scale randomness to 1 let's increase the scale to 0 0.015 now select the camera again number 0 for camera view now it's up to you let's change this value to 0 0.15 now the focus distance if you are having hard time with focusing on the object so for that shift plus a let's add a empty let's position it this will be our focus point let's give it name like focus select the camera again numpad 0 object data properties focus object focus now you can control where you want to focus like this so now if you want to animate it it's really simple just go to animation tab let's go to our first frame select the dust particle cube move it press on i then the location let's go to number 250 move it i location let's see what we got select the select the keyframes right click interpolation linear so guys that's how we can add dust particle to our project if you have any question please comment below see you on the next tutorial